Hi, I just wanted to read this really beautiful tract. It's called The Father's Love Letter. And what I like it by Barry Adams, and what I liked about it was that every single word in here is actually a scripture from the Word of God. And so you can bank you know, on it. You can put your life on it. The Word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. It's alive. So when you put your life on the Word of God, it's a sure footing. And uh, this is beautiful. So I'll give you a few of the scripture references, and then after that I'm just going to read it. But every single word is from the Word of God. My child, you may not know me, but I know everything about you. That's Psalm 139.1. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. Psalm 139.2. I'm just going to read through it now. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I knew you even before you were conceived. I chose you when I planned creation. You were not a mistake. For all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. Acts 17.26 you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I knit you together in your mother's womb and brought you forth on the day you were born. I have been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I am not distant and angry, but I am the complete expression of love. 1 John 4:16. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you simply because you're my child and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father. Every good gift that you receive comes from my hand, for I am your provider and I meet all your needs. My plan for your future has always been filled with hope, because I love you with an everlasting love. My thoughts toward you are countless as the sand on the seashore, and I rejoice over you with singing. I will never stop doing good to you. For you are my treasured possession. I delight, I desire to establish you with all my heart and all my soul. And I want to show you great and marvelous things. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart, for it is I who gave you those desires. I am able to do more for you than you could possibly imagine, for I am your greatest encourager. I am also the Father who comforts you in all your troubles. When you are broken hearted, I am close to you. As a shepherd carries a lamb, I have carried you close to my heart. One day I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and I'll take away all the pain you have suffered on this earth. I am your Father, and I love you even as I love my Son Jesus. For in Jesus, my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you, not against you, and to tell you that I am not counting your sins. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything I love that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me, and nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home, and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been your father, and I will always be your father. My question is, will you be my child? I am waiting for you. That's Luke 15, 11 to 32. Love your dad, almighty God. So that's all the word of God.